All right, I want to show you some of the, the truck that I've been building. Uh, there's kind of a teaser of what we're looking at. Started out with a 1992 Dodge uh, extended cab, one ton pickup. I uh, drug it down to the school here. Took a summer class uh, one year to get started on this. What I'm doing is tearing the front end off the truck. Uh, I'm going to tear the bed off. I'm going to tear the body off and get to the basic frame. The frame is what I'm mainly after here. Okay, once I head it off, I'm bringing in the Willys parts. Uh, these are the front fenders. I'm kind of mocking it up around the front of the truck to see how things are going to line up. First thing I've seen was I need some bigger wheel well openings. So I split them in half. I'm going to add two inches into the middle of the fender. There I've got one side tacked and the other side clicoed on. A couple pictures of that. Uh, on the inside I decided to make them about two inches wider also. So I'm making two pieces, put them together using a Marchant shrinker to give me the curve that I want. And I'm going to tack these onto the inner fender and that will make it two inches wider and two inches longer on the fender. I needed this extra width because of the wider wheelbase than what a Willys is. Here's the other fender getting Clico together and weld it up. Okay, here's a look at the body. It was a 37 four-door sedan uh, body that I'd, I had. What I'm going to do is lift this up and put it up on the truck or the chassis and kind of mock things up, see what I'm going to have to do. Uh, I decided I'm going to I'm going to have to also widen everything as far as the front nose section and I'm going to have to cut the car in half and widen. Here I'm making some patterns off the, the original nose, uh, laying them on some sheet metal, cutting out the pieces. Here's a half of one cut out. I'm using a shrinker. I bend it in the sheet metal brake and then I'm using the shrinker to shrink the curve the round to match the fender held it up against fender and things didn't quite line up so there's the tape line what I'm going to do on this picture is taking my hammer and dolly and moving that edge down so now I've got a nice body line there it won't take much to bolt together and look good alright bolting this together I've decided three inches wider is why I'm going to go on the nose section this is just slowly putting these pieces together there's a lower piece underneath the grill that I have built. Got that clicoed in. And then I got this all everything welded up. I uh, use a TIG welder on all my welds here. Now I can see that I need to widen the body also. So I'm going to cut it down the middle and around the roof. The reason why I don't cut down the center of the, the roof is because it's, it's hard to do any metal work I'm trying to reach out as clear into the middle of that roof. This way I can reach in closer. Uh, the reason why I widened it, uh, I've seen um, it was a 44 pickup on a one ton chassis years ago and they left a small little body and they made these, made these great big wide fenders that uh, to, fill, to, to get wide enough to cover the tires and I just didn't like that. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to do a little bit everywhere. It puts everything into proportion. Uh, kind of, you know, a little here, a little there. What I'm doing here is adding onto the roof. I, I widen it four inches, so I put about a three inch piece on, it, on that roof section. Uh, you'll see here in a minute. I'm just getting the window area. And I've laid that roof over the top of it. I've welded the one inside weld on the roof. Hammered and Dolly took care of that. Now I only have to make the one weld on the outside. What I'll do is clico that down and get it set where it needs to be. Just a couple pictures of the different angles of it. 
Now the other side I'll Clico down. I come in from the underneath side and drill up so I know I'm right close to the edge of my uh, with the Clicos. Then I'll pull it off and I'll cut around the Clicos and put it down in so it's, it's going to be a butt weld. This picture shows that I've got the left side welded up. Tack weld, Clicos gone and looks like it's getting welded up pretty good. Running a weld across the front also. And here's the other side is now welded up and finished. So I've got my top back together. Okay, front frame horns in the front was sticking way out too far, so I'm going to cut them off. I'm leaving enough that it still holds the front suspension and sway bar. Now my front end will fit without too much problems up there. It's uh, looking a lot better now. I decided that the motor was going to be a problem, so I jerked it out. So now I'm just back to the stock frame with nothing else there. Let's build the one I'm building, and then we'll deal with the motor later. And the body, we've uh, got that moving into position. I'm lifting it up on. I'm going to mock this all up now where it needs to be. And in my next group of pictures, in my next video, you will see how we uh, build all the mounts and stuff to hold that to the frame. So I hope you join me again. Thanks, guys.